Your Swanstrom link forming pliers can create a variety of wire shapes and components for your jewelry designs. For this project, we are going to make a pair of reflection earrings. Before you begin, you'll need enough 18 gauge soft sterling wire for two 17 mm diameter rings, a one inch wide strip of 26 gauge soft sterling sheet, two ear wires, two head pins, and two six mm round faceted Swarovski beads of any color. You'll also need a flex shaft with drill bit the size of your head pins, burr life, a Swanstrom disc cutter, a dapping punch and block, and a brass mallet. To get started, measure enough sterling wire to make two rings with inside diameters of 17 millimeters. You can form, hard solder, and pickle these rings yourself, or you can purchase a set of pre-made sterling rings with similar sizes from Rio Grande. With the jig attached, find the 1 16th inch and half inch pegs and push them firmly into the jig accessory in the pattern shown here. Installing the pegs in this formation will allow you to shape your wire rings into teardrops. Once the pegs are installed, preform one of the rings using round nose pliers to roughly shape the ring and help it fit onto the pegs. With the preformed ring placed over the pegs, squeeze the pliers to stretch it to the ideal shape. When you have the ring shaped into a teardrop, set the stop screw. If you want to stretch your shape further, open up the pliers even more by slightly unscrewing the jaw stop. Pinch the wire closed around the 1 16th inch peg with your round nose pliers. Relax the handles and take off the shaped ring. Because you've set your stop screw, the second ring can easily be shaped exactly as the first. Now you're ready to punch out the backs of the earrings. Drill two holes the diameter of your head pins through the sterling sheet, about one inch apart. Using a centering plug, center one of the drilled holes in the 5 8 inch hole of your disc cutter. Place a shiv on the other side of the cutter and clamp the die tight. Apply burr life to your punch and punch out a sterling disc. Center the second hole you drilled and punch out your second disc in the same manner. Use burr life to protect the dapping block and punch, then place a disc in the block and use the 15 millimeter punch to dome the disc. Once both discs are shaped, Solder your wire forms onto the convex or backside of the domed discs. Finish or polish what you have so far, then insert the open side of one of the head pins through a Swarovski bead and into the concave side of one of your discs. Carefully solder the wire to the back of the domed disc and clip off any excess. Take another head pin and assemble your second earring in the same way. Once both earrings are assembled, finish to your liking and attach the ear wires. The beads will glitter and reflect inside the polished dome of each piece, creating an attractive and interesting illusion. Shaping consistent wire components is quick and easy with your Swanstrom link forming pliers. Experiment with all the jig peg sizes to create your own unique shapes and jewelry components.